About 45 minutes into the erratic flight, Richard Russell is recorded on audio tape mentioning Horizon Airlines and the low wage they pay him. A minimum wage. We'll, we'll uh, chalk it up to that. Maybe that'll uh, grease the gears a little bit with the higher up. Maybe, uh, yeah. Co-workers we spoke with today say working on the ramp at Horizon is an understaffed, grueling grind where employees aren't treated with respect. Some said the work culture most likely prompted Russell to teach the bosses a lesson. One told me, quote, he was going to show them that they pushed a good guy to his limits. Hi, I'm Beba Russell and I'm a ground service agent. That means I lift a lot of bags. But on his active social media accounts, Russell isn't venting about poor pay or intolerable working conditions. He posts pictures where he looks proud to be on the tarmac, and he writes about the great airline benefits of free travel with trips to France, Mexico, ski resorts, Ireland, and Alaska. But it allows me to do some pretty cool things too. Russell's blog also shows a fascination with aviation in general, posting notes about a personal logo he's creating, including sketches of a ramp worker, airplanes, and a specific reference to a Q400, the exact type of plane he stole and crashed. And there is no doubt that minimum wage and the wage that they pay those ramp workers has been in bitter dispute for several years at Alaska Airlines and Horizon Airlines. It was a couple years ago where Alaska really uh, was at the forefront of the charge to tell you know the city of SeaTac, hey, we're not going to pay your $15 minimum wage that was the, the first of its time, kind in the country, even before the city of Seattle. And they're successful. There at Horizon, the ramp workers make about $12 an hour to start. And that makes some of them angry, some of the ones I talked to today, because some of the fast food workers inside the airport are making 15. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean that that kind of, you know, wage disparity or any kind of, you know, disgruntled work environment was what prompted this. But a lot of the coworkers online and in talking to us here at King, that, that's the kind of thing they're putting out there. Could have been a contributing factor, maybe. It, it could have been. Yeah, just fascinating to listen to the dialogue between it's the air traffic controller and them. Unbelievable. It really is, isn't it? And, they, and the coworkers we talked to today also said that, you know, what you hear, that calm voice, and he's, he's jovial, he's being nice to the right. air traffic controllers who were doing an awesome <coughs> job as well, that that was the guy you saw at work. Yeah. He was the same on that tape as he was at work. It's just, it's so and crazy. They didn't, they were totally caught by surprise yes. that this was the person who took this plane, right? Yes, yes. They did not see any signs that no. this would happen. No. Just unfortunate. Susanna, yeah. thank you.